So I'm going to head back to that death hole that I found yesterday. And we're going to dive right in. See what I can grab. Probably should have bought... Or... Brought a stack of... Ah... Uh, shoot. I should have brought a stack of... Soil. Well, I could go for the quartz. Oh, I need bronze to get that. Yep. I might also just die. We'll see how it goes. So this is tough. Ow. Here's the question. Well, that didn't work. Let's just go back, close this, grab that stack of just soil, and let's try that again. Yeah, so it it would have worked. Ah, uh, two problems. I need some grass. I do have some firewood with me. Eighteen should be enough. Let's see if I can rekindle my fire for like two seconds. No. Okay, let's grab the sticks. Eight black coal in storage to the left. I am 99% certain you are seeing... No, you are seeing some black coal. You're right. Well, it's fine. I'm not going to mess with it right now anyway. I want to get some more copper before we go. So, here's the question. No, 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 no. Where the hell did I put my fire starter? Oh, there it is. Wait, what? No. Okay. Move that there. Um... See, where's the sticks? There we go. And there's just so many steps to everything that you have to do in this game. Nope, that's not it. Oh, wait, that got it going. It's already burning. Let's see, is this supposed to be Terra Firma Craft, Tier of Crafting? I think it's made by the same people. Okay, question. Can I can I put a torch down on the ground somewhere? I can! Okay. It's just a different button than I'm used to. Okay, so let's let's just rekindle these. I'm gonna leave that last torch there as just a convenient fire starter. There we go. Thank you, sweet coal. Alright, and let's try that adventure again. Cause I'm pretty sure I can survive it through multiple options. Easy one, I could actually just descend uh, mining down and make just kind of a spiraling uh, staircase, which is probably my the smartest option. That seemed like a really, really deep hole. 
The op other option is we hail Mary it, get down to the bottom, and then try and make a, uh... Uh, let's see. Try and make something. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just gonna put a torch here for the time being. Actually, put it in my hands. There we go. I see some interesting structures, too. Yeah, let's just do a, a very, very clean spiral staircase and just hope. No little munchmen come to say hi. Especially because I just found some iron ore. Which is actually really inconvenient for me. In this specific situation. Bye. Luckily, they're dumb. Okay. Like I said, luckily, they're dumb. <sighs> Dang it. Where's my knife? Because, yeah, he's in the way. He's not going to let me do what I want want to do. Now that we know that uh, the torches are pretty easy to make and I can put them down wherever, I guess what I should do is start um, mass producing them. I've currently just got what I came with. And that's not the end of the world. But I wouldn't mind, uh... I wouldn't mind having a supply just to keep these... ...properly lit. This is a water source block. So what I might do... ...is just cut under it. Yeah, let's just do that. Because the water's not going to flow back in. Okay. Still all just copper. It'll get worse when the uh, when it actually requires a better type of pick to get through. But for now, we're fine. Let's see, torches burn off after a while, I think. Okay. I mean, if that's the case, we'll find out. We'll find out in the base, actually, more than anything else. Because that's the first one that I put down. And honestly, like, I don't need them to necessarily last forever. Especially because I think they're just sticks. I'm eventually going to die just trying to traverse this safely. I'm, I'm just glad my pickaxe actually lasts for a tremendous amount of time. Ooh. I think we found a supply of saltpeter. It's maybe not going to be the easiest to get, but I might as well hoard this stuff anyway. Maybe. It's good for farming. It's part of why I'm thinking about this. Holy shit, how far down does this go? Okay. Also, it looks like I have to mine the saltpeter... First. Looks like I can punch it though. Because, yeah, if I break the block that the saltpeter is attached to, it just, uh, bye bye salt pe saltpeter. I'm gonna have to get some of this when I come back down. It's just gonna be at the bottom. And honestly, you know what? That works fine for me. I don't, I don't think things just disappear. Okay, 
got anything else? Not overwhelmingly. Just be wary of that edge. Holy shit, this is a... This is a descent. What I might honestly want to do is uh, have like a, a light source at the bottom and a supply of torches ready to go. And I just take the express elevator instead. Okay. Just because. I'm mostly also glad that none of the other creatures have come by to nibble on my toesies. Well, I am here. He's new and just showed up. Well, thank you, Spiral Staircase. For saving my bupkis. Okay. Let's go this way. How close are we to the bottom? I don't know. I can't see it yet. But my sanity is... Mm, I'm assuming that's sanity. My sanity ain't doing so hot. Which is problematic. Because I, I have no idea what happens when my sanity bottoms out. My assumption is probably instant death where I start seeing weird horrors. That's how it usually works. I've deviated. I don't know how much I care. I Ideally, I'd like to stick mostly to the waterfall, just because. It makes it a lot e easier to know where I'm going. Okay, pickaxe is holding up. Okay. That's full on uh, lava down there. I was wondering what was at the bottom of all of this. The answer is Magma Pit. I guess I'm not terribly surprised by this turn of events. We're getting pretty close to the bottom, though, which is good. I don't actually know if this is going to be worth it, but my thoughts are... It might be like, uh... It might be like Minecraft, where all resources are kind of present down below. And, I don't know. Oh, what's the worst that's going to happen? Herodot rock. Ooh. Okay. I think my inventory has long since run out of space, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. Oh. Instead of trying to bridging... Instead of trying to bridge a gap or anything fancy, we're just gonna go this way. Probably should have made the prospector's pickaxe after all. Just to look for things. But it's okay. I... I have enough... I have enough copper to make at least another copper pickaxe, no problem. So I'm just going to squander this one for the sake of exploration. Okay. Should probably also look into the pebbles. Let's see. 
See if I can make anything with them. Now here's the question. We've made basalts. Is this... Is there any kind of area, or is this just a giant lava pit, nothing else? Because I'm mostly seeing giant lava pit. Nothing else. Okay, that was that was the lava spawner. I'm glad I can just replace a lava spawner by just plonking the block down. There's nothing here. We found iron. That was the main thing. Everything else is bupkis. Okay. So I'm just going to look at limestone stone. Yes. Can be ground up into lime. And can be turned into cobblestone. But we need a for forge to be able to put it together. So I might just leave this stuff. Okay. I was hoping that we'd find, like, a cool inner chamber at the bottom of this. And that was a big, hard no. Which puts me in a bad spot, because I really want to find, like, a extensive chain system, uh, mine system. If I can. So you keep inventory on death. You're right. Why bother going up? You're... you're right. And worse comes worse, I lose all my stuff, right? That didn't kill me? Alright. Well, there we go. Fast pass. So what do we do now? Because that didn't work. I was really hoping we'd find some kind of chamber. Unfortunately, I feel like the cave generation in this is uh, not quite as exciting as I was hoping for. There was obsidian down there. Best material for napping. But I'm pretty sure I can't break obsidian with my basic tools. But then again, that's Minecraft logic, so I actually... I don't know. Oh, and it still messed up my torch. Alright. Well. Let's think about this. Because first and foremost, quick check. we still got this bunny in here. At this point, you're not escaping. I guess I should have, could have kept it as some kind of weird pet, but I just don't think that's how this kind of thing works. All right, my inventory is full of rock. Let's see, is it this one? It's this one. Okay. Put the last of the firewood away. Then think of what to do. So killing yourself caused your gear to start filling again. It's because it's uh, it's because you lose sanity in the underground. Okay, so I'm just gonna pile rocks in here. We can't do anything with him yet, and I should probably go get some more clay. I don't 
no. Because we, we need somewhere to explore with resources. Otherwise, I'm not going to say I'm wasting my time. I'm just going to put that there. Okay. Grab that. Go here. Move sticks over. Torch over. Light other torch it. Yeah. There we go. I'm just going to do that. Let's see. We'll relight the torches, and then I think we'll just run north and see what we can do. Unfortunately, I'm zonking hard. Oh! It looks like hanging out near fire might also increase my sanity re regen. I could be wrong. Did I skip the whole night making that staircase? I might have. Probably not. Night goes pretty long. I don't know. But then again, I might as well spend most of my night times underground, because it doesn't really matter. One way or another. Okay, so I got my torches back. We are good. I guess... I'm just going to throw the last of the sticks back in here. Along with the rabbit meat. I'm just going to let that cook. It's not much, but it's something. And we're going to head directly north, because I marked a cave out up here. No idea if there's anything actually useful up here, but I'll, I'll give it a peek. We'll grab some cranberries as we go by. Really nice just having a giant cranberry patch right outside my base. I wish fruit was a little bit more viable for, like, cooking with, I guess? I don't know. Like, fruit? Fruits? Good eats? Okay. Whoa, right. I forgot. We had this death pit. Yeah, I'm just gonna punch this bush. It actually, it looks like the bushes that grow on the ground, that's how we get more leaves. I don't actually know if they grow up ever. But that's entirely fine. Hello, sir. Dang it, I missed and I've got a really itchy eye. Well, bye, he didn't... Didn't die from that. He is wigging out, though, and he is gone. So where do we go? This seems safest. Thank you, convenient defensive water features. Oh, here we go. Please tell me. Brown coal. Ooh, and some kind of pre-made thing. Well, coal is one of the two things that I'm actually really interested in finding more of. I guess we want, we want tin, we want copper, and we want coal. And we want all of those in decently large quantities. But yeah, we also found a cave door, which is interesting. And scary. I don't know if I'm necessarily prepared for this. Uh, let's see. May I suggest some pretzel. I might have to. Yeah, let's do it. I love the music for this game, but it's a little sleepy. Uh, and so... Having some pretzel should help. Okay, and it's on the other monitor. Alright. We're on metal, though. Let's not do metal. Metal. 
Honestly, let's just do Chiptune. Chiptune's enough of a bop to kind of wake me up, wake me back up again. This is one hell of a coal vein, actually. Let's see, if you're unprepared, at worst you have to retreat. Retreating is for other people. I'm immortal. I'm just, I'm just gonna grab as much as I possibly can. And then die, and then come back again. I, I realize that it takes a lot of the tension out of these games, and I know I get a lot of flack for, for admitting this. But it's one of those where it's just like, I don't know, I enjoy games better if I don't have to struggle as much. If I want to struggle, I'll, like, very much push for that. But honestly, I feel like this game's already punishing enough, uh, just due to resource scarcity and just sheer complexity. Uh, let's see. Wow. I don't think I'm going to have to convert firewood over into coal ever again. At least not currently. My biggest fear is that my pickaxe is going to break before I find anything else. But honestly, our, I'm having a hard time caring. Having this amount of coal is... I'm not going to say it's game-changing, but it changes a lot. I might have to stop, though, just because... I don't want to spend this entire time mining more coal unless I absolutely have to. Yeah, I'm waking up. I, it really was the music, at least to some degree. I, I think there's more factors to me being zonky than anything. My sleep schedule has been all sorts of bad. Uh, just side projects and me kind of trying to take as much free time to myself as possible. Okay, so let's, let's call that enough. More coal. Bunch of metal scrap and a bed. First and foremost, can I pick up the bed? Yes. And a torch holder. You know, honestly, those might have been... Those might actually be more valuable than most of the stuff that I find around here. Okay. We also do have the aged wooden planks. I'm probably going to just put them back. There might be some things I can make with this, but later. Deep Drifter. Okay. Would explain why it's tough. And Tin Ore. So, we're, we're actually well on our way here. I'll have to see about making bronze. Because, to my knowledge, bronze is just tin and copper together. And so if we can actually get a decent supply of this, we might be able to skip much of the copper age and just go straight to the bronze age. Okay. Let's see. A little bit more. Let's see if I get lucky and this vein is deeper than I thought. It's just misshapen. Uh, we'll see. It keeps going. Okay, that might have been it. Yeah. 
looks like we're done in this regard. All right, let's see if a deep drifter has anything interesting in it. It has some flax, which I should probably figure out, like, where to get more. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my eye out. There might still be goodies. There we go. I don't know why. They just had, like, the a very strong flashback to... Oh, boy. Here's a couple of... Du Bois. Really strong flashback to watching, uh, or watching, playing Hey You Pikachu as a kid. And just how, like, absolutely wonky that game was. I don't know, did anybody buy Hey You Pikachu? I remember it was like the it was like equal parts the thing that only the rich kids had in town and also like one of the worst games I think I've ever played maybe there's more merits to it than I thought but like I just remember uh renting it once from Blockbuster Mike and all and just being like this game's really neat I love it and then like ow where did you even come from? Bye. Are you kidding me? Let's see, was it a SNES game? No, it was an N64. It was like a... It was Nintendo's attempt at, like, messing with voice commands in a game. If you've ever seen Binary Domain... Holy shit, I should play Binary Domain. Yeah, drop bears for days. It is nighttime. I just wasn't expecting this many drop bears here. All at once, really. I was kind of expecting more steady flow, but it was just kind of like sudden just... Drop bear madness. Okay. So that's an entrance. I'm just going to go down. 4x. Fire's a bronze pick, though. Ripes. Well, this good might spear some work. It... One of the things that I really want to do, uh, as far as, like, content goes over the next year, uh, is I really want to start doing some, like, game reviews of older, weird games that people, you know, never play and generally wouldn't. Um, and I've got this just, like, giant laundry list of things that, like, I will never ever do a YouTube series on because I'm sure most people would probably just never find it because that's just how the algorithm works. Well, do we just... Yeah, let's just do it. Do it up! Okay. Holy shit, there's more. I'm dead. Yeah. Got dead. At least we know we can get down there safely. I'm just gonna go back. Absolutely no stakes in what I'm doing. But that's fine. I don't need it to have stakes. I'm just here to adventure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I should I should probably put together like a giant list of of games I'd like to review one by one and actually sit down and and uh, I don't know maybe do a Patreon poll and just start like going down the list. Because one of the problems that I run into is that streaming is hard. Uh, I realize that this is kind of a redundant. Did I lose my spear? Did my spear break? 
shoots. Pretty sure I went down this though. Yeah, definitely did. It did my spear break or did I drop it? Uh, threw my spear at the end. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Well, it's okay. It takes me no time to come back. This channel's built on that, but yeah, they're super slow growth until they get back catalogs in the 10 to 20k range. Uh, are we talking about, like, reviews and whatnot? Because I think 10 to 20,000... Oh yeah, I did throw my spear. Can I have it back? Thank you. I was wondering about that, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I didn't break it. Really? All that work for... Absolutely nothing. We, I, we need that prospecting pickaxe. Bad. Okay. Last segment here. And then I guess we just go back for the coal? Okay, here we go. Looks like more tin. Any games other than Hey You Pikachu you're thinking of? I mean, I, I honestly wouldn't even play Hey You Pikachu. I'm not even sure if I could get that working. Um... It'd be interesting to try and emulate it, uh, just to see if, like, a uh, modern mic would work better. Uh, but, no. What would be a good one? I mean, honestly, chopping up the, uh, the Homeworld games, seeing as I've started playing them recently, that would be something that I could kind of do a, a short review on. Um. Yeesh. This one goes down far. I'm not going to be taking suggestions. Please please stop repeating uh, games that you want to see. Because, like, this truly is something that I, I'm going to have to go down my own list before I start taking input from others. Okay. Tragically, it looks like this is kind of bupkis again. How do we want to do this? Because I can mine in a direction and hope I find a cave. But I shouldn't do that down here. <sighs> Let's see, list of what? Games, games that I would like to, like, do reviews on. Micro-reviews, full reviews, I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, but games that I, I've always wanted to play but never really had the opportunity to do so. Uh, or the time. I guess I really only need to put one block in there, don't I? Oh, well. Okay, let's pick this up. Move over the sticks, grab the rabbit. Set that on fire. Add torch. There we go. So hopefully I can just remove the torch freely whenever I want. So we did get some metal scraps. We did get as much as I was hoping for though. Oh, we got metal parts. That's the other thing that we picked up. I guess, where did I put those ingots? I think I put them over here. With another rabbit. I did. Okay. Do I actually bother with this? Maybe not.
Big issue is just I've... I only have a little bit of tin or copper sitting around and I don't necessarily know what I'm doing with it. So I'd rather avoid wasting resources meaninglessly. Okay. Because, yeah, I got coal. Uh, let's find where I put the fibers. Okay, grab the rabbit. Might as well just eat it. This game collector loves series like that. Just wish they were more viable on modern YouTube. I think they can be viable. I think they're... So, I think the, the question is just, like, what do you judge as full viability? Because the big issue is... Older games generally just will never do as well as, like, big, fancy, modern stuff. But I'm just... On my on my own, I'm not really sure if I could ever uh, do the, like, dumb hype YouTube stuff that I see a lot of other people do. Um, so I'd rather work on more long-form, evergreen content that, you know, might never succeed massively. But if I can have, like, two or three channels that are all doing reasonably well and only take hello only it takes so much time to produce that would probably actually work better for me 